Hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope that, you know, all these energies are not too intense for many of you. So this pick a card is going to be about what do you need to hear? I feel like the collective just needs some guidance right now because I am picking up a lot of like tower energy going around. I, I am picking up that the collective just needs guidance. It needs like, you know, someone to be their lighthouse, someone to just show them, you know, a glimpse of of hope or a glimpse of like yeah you know you're doing you know you're doing everything well or just confirmation or validation in some way so i hope that this video does provide that for you if you hear me i am shuffling cards in the um behind the scenes here i do feel as well there is a lot of like opposing energies as well going on for a lot of you that you might be feeling a lot of pent-up energies a lot of pent-up emotions coming up as well um, so again, all the timestamps, my Patreon, my website, my email, how to get a reading, my Facebook, my Instagram, all of that is in the description box below, along with the timestamps as well. So remember, there is no right way of doing this. <clears throat> Just pick the one that you feel the most called to, or the one that catches your eye, um, and we'll go from there. Remember that these are all general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. With that being said, let's get started with option number one. Do not forget to um, take a deep breath. I don't know why I felt called to say that, but take a deep breath. So let's get started with pile number one. Okay, pile number one. Let's see what's going on. What do you need to hear right now? What do you guys want you to know? So we have, oops, pick yourself up. Okay, so I feel like the energies right now with pile number one have been very, very intense. I feel like right now things might just feel very heavy around you. You might be actually in this shadow period of your life. You might be having to work through some shadow. Um, you might be having to just deal with a lot of emotions of regret, of sadness, of um, a lot of things that you have not been wanting to deal with is what I'm, I'm picking up here for pile number one. I feel this well here. That there's something here that you have been avoiding to deal with. I don't know why. Um, I'm also getting this energy of something, I don't know, you did something or you perceived that you made a mistake, pile number one, <clears throat> or something didn't go as you had hoped. Um, there's a sense of like deception. And that's not even the right word. Let me, let me digress here. Um, this feels more like like an energy of being let down by something or by someone or even by yourself you know allowing yourself to maybe believe something assume something and it just it just feels like this energy of like I should have known better or I should have known you know that this situation wasn't going to work out or I don't know it just feels like a lot of regret here pile number one transformation chaos brings positive change okay so your guides are saying you have been in this period of stagnation you have been in this period of maybe a lot of upheaval for some of you a lot of change um, a lot of chaos even for pile number one pile number one your energy is just very intense even just me trying to sit here with your energy <clears throat> just i feel very like nervous so you might be experiencing a lot of anxiety right now as well I feel like you're being asked to step into this hermit mode for you to just sit with the discomfort, you know, for you to just sit with those emotions that are coming up for you. And I feel like spirit wants you to pick yourself up. Spirit wants you to, you know, know that yes, things are chaotic. Yes, things are changing. Yes, things feel out of your control right now, but there is positive change. And, you know, you might be in this... Uh, position right now where you're just like you know what I've been hearing this message over and over again and I'm not seeing any change I'm not seeing any transformation I'm not seeing anything happen for me the thing here is 
the healing path, the healing journey, it's not linear, you guys. I wish it was. You know, I wish it was that easy. But it's not. You know, we have ups and downs. We have twists and turns. And, you know, but the thing is, you have to remember that not everything lasts forever. That's why we have the Wheel of Fortune and Tarot. Because everything in life is a cycle. You know, we are we are up for a while we're doing great things are moving forward and then the wheel has to turn and we have to embrace when the wheel turns we have to embrace again being in that energy of discomfort of uncertainty of having to deal with our shadow having to deal with our wounds with things that we typically don't want to deal with right that we just kind of like sweep under the rug i feel like pile number one you're being asked to deal with the elephant in the room right now divination tools and for a lot of you i feel like you have been seeking divination tools you have been seeking assistance you know i other by other um by other tarot readers or just you maybe you pull cards for yourself or maybe you you know watch pick a card or maybe you know you're trying to meditate or you're trying to you know some form of divination here uh, to bring in some clarity, to bring in some understanding, some guidance for yourself. But your guides are telling you, again, sit with yourself. Clairsentient, right? It's the ability to feel things in your body, to get messages within your body. And so I feel like right now, everything that you're feeling, all the change, all this intense energy, it's all being reflected in your body. So this makes it even, I feel like, worse because you're experiencing back pain you're experiencing headaches you're experiencing you know these um aches in your body so it's important you know that you try to meditate that you try to maybe get some reiki done either on yourself or by your preferred practitioner um or just watching a video on youtube there there are so many amazing uh, videos out there you know that do provide reiki through their videos you are protected so your guidance right now what your guys want you to know is that you're taking care of that you're being watched over through this period of transformation through this period of chaos of upheaval of having to pick yourself up in some way you know in the background you do have spirit watching you. You're not alone. And I feel like this might be a message that you keep, you know, you keep hearing over and over again. And you might be even so tired of hearing it. You might be like, you know what? I'm fed up. I'm fed up with it. I don't see anything. But your guides are saying, we can't do things for you. We have to also learn to pick ourselves up. To be comfortable in the discomfort. Pile number one. Your guides are saying, notice what is already with you. What is already with you? Again, like I was saying, Reiki. I feel like Reiki will be really good for you guys, pile number one, to help move the energy in your body, especially because with clairsentient, you are feeling it in your body. Number 17 is the star card, right? It's about hope. It's about faith. It's about inner healing. It's also about synchronicities. With all these butterflies, you are going through a big transformation. There's a lot that you are releasing. These hands are releasing. Maybe working with geo geometric geometrical, sorry, geometrical shapes will be very helpful for you. Cause I do see here, I've never noticed this, but there's wheels behind these hands. I never noticed this, and I've had this deck for quite a long time. There's there's gears here. So behind the scenes, the wheels are turning. Behind the scenes, things are happening. Things are aligning for you. But you're not able to see this. See how it's dark and I really had to kind of like, even I've never even noticed this. So maybe there's something like your guides are saying, notice, notice the signs. Notice all the messages that are coming through for you in the readings. Whether you do this as personal readings, private readings, or in pick a cards. But things are moving behind the scenes. You're just releasing. And this and this feels like a very big release. It doesn't feel like it's just a one month, one week situation. This feels like it has been almost a whole year. 
and for some of you maybe a little bit longer pile number one sweet results await maybe you have been seeing a lot of like 717 um 17 7 1777 something like this okay or maybe your life path number seven maybe you're this is your year number seven you're under the vibration of a seven i know i am um, so maybe some of you are as well so there's a lot of like hermit mode you're in hermit mode right um, a lot of realizations a lot of inner truths are happening for you and so a lot of adjustments are happening as well in your life but your guides want you to know like hey there are sweet results that await you and i know things may seem impossible right now i know things might seem very difficult and the bee also has like little like little gears you guys things are moving for you guys okay even though it might not seem that way but you're going to pick yourself up okay and spirit is helping you with that helping you with that process with that pro i can't i can't speak okay bat yeah you guys are having to face shadows right now the bat is all about rebirth facing the shadows being in the dark like i said you might be in the dark night of the soul you might be working through some you know some aspect of your shadow self here and it's also about letting go letting go for you to be led to a rebirth and this has been a long process this has not been an easy process but you just like the bat can see through the darkness and you have the tools to help you with that as well the raccoon you guys yes very nocturnal animals yeah i feel like you guys have been in like this hermit period <clears throat> The raccoon here is ruled by earth. This one is ruled by air in this deck. Um, and the raccoon here is definitely about the shadow. What has been hiding? What has been lurking in the dark? Again, this theme of like, what have you not been wanting to deal with? What is it that you need to let go of in order for this rebirth to happen? And you need to know that you're safe in this in this darkness that you are currently in that you're not alone i'm hearing soon you will come out out of hiding it's kind of like um this energy of hibernation will be over you're in a hibernation perfect way to put it you're in hibernation that's what's going on Mm -hmm. four of swords things are slow for you right now things are slow um i feel like you know you're in this period of suspension of having to meditate to contemplate things to rethink things to sleep on things okay to make peace with certain things as well lay dirt lay wow lay dirt okay <laughs> lay certain things to rest is what i'm getting here give your mind a break and i feel like for a lot of you you want this this is what you're craving for you're like i want this and you've been praying you've been this is to help you strengthen also your connection with divine by the way eight of cups yeah there's something you need to let go of pile number one you need to walk away from something and I feel like this with, this is what this period of suspension is um, trying to reveal you, reveal to you, is trying to get your attention. Yeah, we have a knife, so something needs to be cut out. Yeah, something that you know it's, it's been heavy. It's been heavy, but I feel like with this rock energy here, I feel like... Um, you know, it, it, it was something solid for you at one point. You know, it provided stability for you at one point. But I feel like it's no longer providing that for you. And you're being asked to walk away and to look for your passions. Yeah, you're in this moon energy. Absolutely. You're in this moon energy. And I feel like 
things are not as clear. You're having to rely on your instinct. You're, you're having to rely on your intuition. Fire energy. Follow your passion. Follow your drive. So that is what I have for pile number one. If it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Pile number two. Let's see pile number two. What do your guides want you to know right now? independence i'm hearing independence i'm hearing financial independence i'm hearing self-love hmm. i'm hearing right now for you guys power number two Um, you're feeling very sensitive to energy, okay? You might feel like um, you're on edge or you might feel like there's a lot of stimulation going on around you. It might be even hard for you to, uh, like, hug someone, you know, and this is, of course, because of what's going on. You know, it's it's not safe right now to be hugging other people, but, you know, even the people around you, the people that you live with, like it's hard for you to even like be near them because you're absorbing a lot of their energy or it's just this kind of like hard right now to just put boundaries between you and another person's energy is what I'm picking up. Security and stability is here. Perfect. Pile number two. I did <laughs> told financial finances, financial freedom. I do feel like for pile number two, uh, there is a lot of stability trying to come in for you. Your guides want you to know that that is what is coming ahead. Um, also look at what's already within what's already with you, right? The stability that you already have in your life. For a lot of you, you're, you are reevaluating your stability. For a lot of you, um, you are looking at like, where do I want to create this future stability or who I want to create it with? Where do I want to plant roots for myself? And this can be because, you know, a new year is approaching and you're just in this mindset of like, okay, you know, what can I create for myself? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. You guys are in this mode of like, I want to rebuild I want to, um, you know, how do I put this? For a lot of you, this can be literally like your home. You know, you are rebuilding your under your homes under construction in some way, or you're looking to expand your home. But for a lot of you, this feels like business wise, or like, you know, your vision, your goals. You're just like, what else can I conquer? What else can I tackle? What else can I, um, you know, expand my business on? Or this energy of... I'm hearing, where can I challenge myself as well? Pile number two. Starseed. Okay, so definitely I do feel here that... Um, you are receiving a lot of downloads, okay? You are receiving a lot of downloads here that are helping you and that are motivating you and telling you to reconstruct, to rebuild something in your life, to make it more stable, more secure for yourself. And this is going to be different in what area of your life because there are so many of you. So apply it where it fits. Um, but I am getting this energy of like, you know, you are you are receiving a lot of downloads, a lot of activations that are telling you it's time for you to build something stable. It's time for you to get something in order to put things in order as well. So whether this be like a business that, you know, you have to get the paperwork done for, whether this be something about taxes or a home situation or your schooling, but there's something here about paperwork that needs to get done is what I'm hearing here in order for this situation to like finally legalize it in some way or to make it kind of um, more secure for yourself. You have to secure something is what I'm getting here, pile number two. Yeah, something with your money. 
for a lot of you you are also looking at like where do i invest where is it worth my money for me to invest for a lot of you it's just this energy of like your stability and your security is under a microscope and you are just looking at things and you're like okay you know, is this worth investing in or should I just cut my losses and move on? Or should I or is there something that I need to adjust here to make it more secure for myself and everyone involved? I do feel here that there is going to be discussions of a reconstruction of uh, renewing some type of a contract or some type of an agreement with someone. This could be with your partner as well, you know. For some of you, maybe could be, you know, that your business is growing, for example, and you're married and now you're having to talk about like what happens if, you know, these scenarios of, you know, if this was to happen, how will things be divided or how will things work for some of you you're going into business with a partner and so you're just like we're not mixing you know love and business together let's talk about this let's rebuild something together <clears throat> to make it work for the both of us and for others of you as well i do feel here you are rebuilding a connection of friendship here as well yeah, I said money. You guys, I swear to God, I don't watch these cards. But I do feel like for a lot of you, you are getting your financial stuff together. You're like, how do I get to this Ten of Pentacles? I feel like you're at the Nine of Pentacles, but you're just like, I'm not satisfied. I want the Ten of Pentacles. I want to make this my business. I want to make this my source of income. I want to make this business run for itself. How do I get there? You're in this hustle mindset with the Ten of Pentacles. For others of you, it's kind of like, how do I make my family life solid? How do I secure, you know, the bag? How do I secure the future for, you know, my children, for my future generation, future generations to come? Like, how do I do this? Because for, for a lot of you, pile number two, you know, like I said, you are in a good place financially. Um, and for others of you, you just want to get here to the Ten of Pentacles. You want the stability. You want the security. The magician. Yeah, you're looking at your skills. How can I manifest this? What tools do I have at my disposal that can get me to the Ten of Pentacles? For a lot of you, you want to manifest this. And your guides are telling you, that's great. That's fantastic. We want to help you. You're capable of it, but do you feel worthy of you receiving those Ten of Pentacles? You know, that Ten of Pentacles energy. Because for a lot of you, there's a lot of work that needs to be done around feeling like you are worthy of all this abundance that you want. And if you have been doing the work, and if you have been, you know, doing the shadow work around that, where is that coming from? Um, you know... How is that limiting you? How is your relationship with money? If you've been doing that, you bet you're manifesting that Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like it's showing in your life. You're seeing the the, the results of working um, your relationship with your money. Or with money in general. Pile number two, I feel for a lot of you, you're seeing how you can build this for yourself with that Ten of Pentacles. You're seeing that you have everything that you need to get to be here. For a lot of you, you are, you know, revamping a business, a home. You're redecorating. Okay, pile number two you have here goddess of sacred power you are being encouraged to take the leading role in your current situation yeah i feel like at this time you're being asked to step into this magician energy to step into this energy to know that you have the power to manifest that ten of pentacles that you want that business that home life for some of you maybe you have a business and you want to make it into a corporation or an lcc for others of you, you know, you want a business where even your family can benefit from this. 
Maybe you want to bring in, you know, into, uh, you want to bring in family into your business. For some of you, not for all of you. Some of you are like, uh-uh, I'm not mixing family and business together, which is great. I am the same way. I don't like to mix um, family and business, but, you know, for some of you, you do. And that's okay. If it works for you, great. But you're being asked to take the lead, right? To take the lead in um, your current situation. Yeah, it's time for you to see that you can have that beautiful dream that you are wishing and wanting. 19, it's a 10. And you have a 10 here. And then you have a 1. So for some of you, might be seeing 1, 1, 1. Okay, or 10, 10, 10 as well. Your birthday might be on the 19th of a month, the 10th of a month, or the 1st of a month. You might be life path number 9, 1, um, or 11. I feel like your guides want you to pay attention of everything that you have built for yourself thus far. They're wanting you to acknowledge your power, your role in the stability that you have right now. To remind yourself that you have everything that you need in your toolbox to manifest this Ten of Pentacles for yourself. That the world is your playground. The Cobra. I love this card. The Cobra in this particular deck is represented by fire. Right? And fire is all about change. It's about transmuting things. Fire can be a good thing. It can help you, you know, get rid of things, but it can also be very destructive if we let it just roam freely and it's not, you know, used in a proactive way. But also here, the fire element is challenging your ego. It's challenging to become the best, the best version of yourself, pile number two. That's what you guys are saying. Whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that you're wanting to rebuild or reconstruct or recreate is challenging you to become the best version of yourself. Because whatever you're going through is an elixir to your transformation. For a lot of you, you're waiting for this Ten of Pentacles to manifest for you, right? Because the Cobras, what do they do? They just wait, right? They're there. It's kind of like they're hypnotized. It's time to go inwards, you guys. And if you haven't been doing the shadow work, it's time that you do. The Zebra. Zebra energy here. It's also ruled by fire in this particular deck. And here your guides are telling you, you want to create this Ten of Pentacles? You want to embody the magician within you? Be your authentic self. Be your eccentric self. You know, every zebra, yes, the, their design looks the same. But they're really not. There is no zebra that has the same pattern or design. They're like fingerprints. They're unique. And so you need to tap into your uniqueness. You need to tap into your visionary, um, into your expansive, into your creative ideas. Because you are very creative. You're the magician. The magician can manifest anything. Anything he sees in his third eye can manifest really quickly. But you have to believe that you're worth it. And you do have to stand in your power. And for a lot of you, I feel like you've been doing this, but you're in this period of waiting, right? You're in this period of like, well, when is it coming? Turtle, slow and steady wins the race. Number eight, prosperity, infinite possibilities. Water and fire reminding me of temperance, taking your time, tempering things, being on trial and error, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. 
It's about being patient. It's about slow energy. It's also about alchemy, transmutation, transformation. Yes, maybe things take time for you. Maybe things don't move as fast as you would like them to. But that's not a bad thing, pile number two. It's not. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. And it's so funny because there's a message that came out in my IG. Again, if you guys don't follow me there, I do daily uh, pick a card Monday through Friday only. But this message came out today where I saw someone in a dream that was ha that was in a race. And everybody around the person who was dreaming this was like running and like trying to get stuff done. And the person who was, you know, having the dream was just like walking by gracefully, <clears throat> like without a worry, you know. And they ended up winning the race. So I don't know if anyone had a dream like that or what, but that's what came through in IG. If you want to go and check it out, my IG is in the description box below. But again, things, you know, slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race, pile number two. Okay, let me pull some cards here for you. Because I did this for pile number one. Yeah, you're being shielded from something. Is this energy of like being in the maze, you know? Again, you're trying to be like, well, when is this happening? You know, when am I getting out of this maze? <clears throat> but you guys are saying there is a a reason behind everything that is happening, okay? For a lot of you, maybe you are in the process of rebuilding. You are in the process of working towards that Ten of Pentacles. But you're learning self-mastery. You're learning to be the teacher before you can be the student. And they want you to know that the road ahead is wide open for you. And it's leading you right to the sun, pile number two. So that is what I have for you guys. If it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Thank you very much for being part of this beautiful community. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Bye. Pile number three. What do your guides want you to know at this time? Let's see. What's going on? Hmm. Okay, pile number three, I'm hearing karma. So, you know, either things have been a little bit gloomy and things are now finally turning for you. I feel like you've been paying some type of karmic debt as well. I feel like there's karmic, there's karmic justice being made on your behalf. I don't know. It's, I don't know why I'm getting this message. If anyone has been deceitful and if anybody has been trying to one-up you, if anybody has been trying to you know, kind of pull a seven of swords energy here, whether this be recently or in the past, spirit is saying things are being balanced out on a spiritual level. Stop the cycle is the only way to discover who you are. Okay, so pile number three, we're starting off with the bang, aren't we? <laughs> Your guides are like, just stop it. I don't know what you're doing. You're repeating something, something that is not good for you. And the only way to stop it is by you cutting this cycle once and for all. For some of you, I do feel that your guides are telling you it's time for you to spread your wings. It's time for you to discover who you are. And the only way to do this is for you to disconnect from something that you know it's not good for you. Okay, pile number three. Do not doubt your abilities. Wow, pile number three. What's going on? Are we dealing with codependent issues here? Are we afraid that we're not going to be able to do things on our own? Are we doubting who we are? Are we doubting our abilities? Are we doubting where we come from, our experiences, our lessons? <sighs> Spirit is 
spirit is saying what's what's about to happen pile number three and this is not to scare you that's never my um, my intention but it does feel like spirit is gonna put a stop to something here and i feel like this is for you to discover exactly who you are in order for you to stand in your power for you to not doubt your abilities to not doubt yourself and to not doubt your power because it feels to me like you've been giving your power away here pile number three who this is about to get juicy life purpose yeah like i said i feel for a lot of you whatever is is about to transpire in your life <clears throat> this could have been activated because of the eclipse that just happened you know just fyi here it's not part of your life purpose it's that simple you guys are saying the cycle that we're about to stop it's not part of your life purpose it's not part of your destiny it's actually holding you back from spreading your wings it's actually holding you back from fully embracing who you are and what you came here to do pile number three one 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 eight 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 three 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 so definitely you've been seeing a lot of signs maybe you've been seeing these numbers three 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 eight 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 or just repetitive signs repetitive messages over and over again from different people from different sources two of cups for some of you this is a connection a friendship a relationship a partnership I feel like there is huge transformations that are about to happen in this connection. Yeah, because it has become very burdensome. It has reached a cycle. It has reached is is um it has given you everything that you've needed. You've received everything that you've needed to learn from this person or this situation. But this feels like a personal partnership, whether this be love, friendship, uh, you know, work. But this is someone you at some point <clears throat> saw yourself at eye level with this person. At some point, there was a mutual understanding. At some point, there was this mutual respect, admiration for one another. But I feel like someone here is turning their back on this connection or this relationship because things have become very burdensome with that Ten of Wands. Yeah, and for a lot of you, you're receiving a lot of psychic, psychic messages. I'm hearing this is not yours to carry. Pile number three, you're very intuitive. Very, very intuitive. Your birthday might, la might land on the 2nd of a month, on the 10th of a month. Okay, so February 10th, October 2nd. You might be life path number 2, 1. But you're very, very psychic. And I feel like Spirit is trying to show you something. Spirit is saying, look at the signs. Pay attention to your intuition. Yeah, you have a legacy here, pile number three. You have a legacy here. And Spirit is saying, enough. Enough with playing around. Enough with carrying things that are not yours to carry. You have something to... Your life purpose is big, pile number three. And it might be with, you know, your psychic abilities as well. But you come from a legacy of powerful, powerful um, energies. Your ancestors. You are protected so much by many generations. Pile number three. And they're saying you have a big purpose here. 
and again like i said that karmic justice i don't know your guides your ancestors are stepping in very strongly about something don't let anybody put the burden on you don't let anybody tell you that you're responsible for something that you're not Your guys want you to know that you will overcome these obstacles because I do feel like there has been this heaviness here. Okay? This energy of like not knowing where you're going. Carrying on so much. Dealing with so much. The good thing is that you're at the end of it. You're at the Ten of Wands. It doesn't get any worse than this. You're about to get to the Ace of Wands again where you're going to be feeling inspired and motivated. There's about to be a breakthrough. Okay? Yeah. 50 adds to a five you know adjustments energetic adjustments having to fight your way through certain burdens certain obstacles but you got this because it has shown you how resilient you are it has shown you you know what you are capable of and your guides are telling you honor your roots honor where you come from honor your ancestors whether that be through an altar or just prayer Oh, you guys got three cards. I didn't even notice that. So you guys might be seeing three, three, three. You have the frog. The frogs to me are about abundance, of course, but they're definitely about rebirth. This is the water element. And it's all about clearing. It's about cleansing. You know, cleansing what has become burdensome cleansing that which is not for you to carry cleanse that get rid of that that is not in alignment with your life purpose even if that includes people you guys and i know that's hard i know that's hard especially if you're someone who's loyal especially if you're someone who you know you're like i'm a i'm gonna stick with this person but sometimes there's certain people that can't go where you're going and there's great power that comes with with accepting that your ancestors your guides are telling you you need to rejuvenate you've been working very very hard and they're proud of you for that that's what they're saying karmic justice is about to is about to come full circle for you they're saying take a leap of faith wow the snake energy very transformative energies here you guys um, and the snake energy here is represented by the earth sign. And okay, pile number three. You have, I don't know how many times I have to say this, but they keep telling me you are powerful. Pile number three. You are powerful, powerful. You are a protector. You are a protector of the legacy of light of the light not only of yours but of your ancestors they're saying you are the guardian of magic and creativity and you have to guard that you have to guard your creative projects you have to guard your ideas you have to guard your energy as well are people putting too much on you are people putting too much responsibilities on you if that's the case, you know, set boundaries. The last card that you have here is spider medis medicine. Earth energy again. Water and earth. Ground your emotions. Okay? Ground your emotions because you're a natural weaver. You are a natural manifester. And your ancestors, your guides are helping you manifest what you want and they're helping you work through any obstacles that you are currently working through they're saying it's time for you to follow your dharma it's time for you to follow your life purpose stop playing it small pile number three things are coming full circle for you you're completing a big cycle pile number three and i feel like you're stepping into infinite prosperity because you're following your dharma Again, you have a big legacy in this lifetime. 
huge legacy and your guides are here telling you like no more playing around pile number three mm -mm. be the hunter not the hunted they're saying you you will leave a legacy for the greater good upon this planet and you are being supported in many many ways by your creative ideas Oof, okay let me ground a little bit hold on spirit is saying if you're involved in a group project which you might be okay pile number three spirit is saying make sure you're staying true to your heart remember why you began working together in the first place They're saying you are a creative being and you are definitely entitled <clears throat> to explore your, your creativity. They're saying if you feel like taking a class, go ahead and take it. If you feel like changing something one day, you are in every right to do so. You are being encouraged right now to take something further to take your purpose further to not keep yourself here to branch out to create a bigger web for yourself because your guides are saying you are someone pile number three that is coming from pure love from pure intention and you're always wanting the best for others You have something big here with your family history and spiritual ancestry. They're saying honor your traditions and your culture. They're saying they don't have to be the same spiritual traditions that your, you know, your ancestors did. You can tweak it in any way that, that serves you. They're saying be careful that you're not observing as well, you know, fears from parents or from grandparents. pile number two they're saying your birthright is to shine and don't let anyone or anything tell you otherwise you are a sacred rebel remember that someone here has um, done something new something creative something that you might be doubting if it's part of your life purpose your ancestors are coming through very strongly saying that this is in alignment with your dharma this is in alignment with your sacred purpose and your spiritual path and it's part of your healing and it's part of your growth do not doubt yourself wow so let me pull some of the cards here really fast and let me wrap up this reading because it's one of the longest since i've done in a while so let's see Pile number three. What else do they need to know? In the world, not of the world. In the world, not of the world. Remember that. Pile number three. Wow. The world dumpster. Do not let the world dump their stuff on you. Do not let relationships, friendships dump their stuff on you. I feel like you feel a lot of the collective's energy, pile number three. And sometimes it does put you in this energy of being down in the dump. So you need to have a strict cleansing ritual here. One more card here. Yeah, you need to listen to the song, to the beat of your own drum. Turn things up like the radio. Turn it up. Turn it up. There's something beautiful that you're manifesting. There's something beautiful that wants to be birthed 
through you or you just gave birth to something a project an idea um you know an inspiration like there's something here that wants to be expressed through you and it's part of your legacy it's part of your dharma yeah things are about to get better we have the club here we have music here turn it up stop playing it small be the ringleader pile number three so that is what i have for you guys if it resonated hit the like button subscribe and do not forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload thank you very much for being part of this beautiful community take care of yourselves stay safe bye